In December 1877, President Rutherford B. Hayes, who had kind of looked like Conan O'Brien as a young man, addressed Congress. He told them, The power of the United States to coin money and to regulate the value thereof ought never to be exercised for the purpose of enabling the government to pay its obligations in a coin of less value than that contemplated by the parties when the bonds were issued. Any attempt to pay the national indebtedness in coinage of less commercial value than the money of the world would involve a violation of the public faith and work irreparable injury to the public credit. Was the president warning against paying back bonds in paper fiat currency, greenback? No, he was talking about silver, letting silver be used as dollars to pay back debts that were initiated in gold seemed inflationary, unfair, unethical, and bad for the country's reputation. The problem with having a fixed amount of silver and a fixed amount of gold equal the same denomination of one dollar is that the gold and the silver are always changing with relation to each other. Imposing a dollar on fixed quantities of either metal is itself a fiat. Even today, it's clear, gold has maintained its value more than the silver has. Today, the same gold dollar is worth more by 3.6 times than the silver dollar from the same era. Some people say that this means silver's got a lot higher to go in order to catch up with gold and bring the ratio down closer to 16 silver to 1 gold. But if you're into buying silver, this probably means you should also be into buying some gold, at least. Either way, President Hayes definitely would have preferred to see the debts get paid in silver than in paper. President Hayes would be especially worried about our reputation if he found out we were paying back bonds with paper worth even less than the paper was worth when we issued those bonds. 